Hello friends! In this video, I'll be making the Black Snail 1890s fan skirt. I didn't make it verbatim, so I didn't film every part like I usually do, because in a lot of ways, I went way off course. Like turning the back panel into three separate panels, or using larger pockets from a different brand. I mean, I want pockets that can hold a phone, and this size wasn't going to cut it. Anyway, let's get on with this skirt. So here's the pieces I made up for the back. Yes, editing Jen realized that this might be important to know, since if you are familiar with the pattern, you might be thinking, why are there so many seams? Yeah, if you know me, you know that math is not my forte. And even this much pattern drafting melts my brain. Anyway, I got those pieces cut and decided to use 11 inches of crinoline at the bottom edge, which might have been a mistake. It looks a bit wonky in the end, but then again, don't we all? I used tiny little prick stitches that went all the way through, and large stitches at the back, so the crinoline would be secure, but there would be less chances of the stitches showing through. Then I removed the pad stitching. I cut another layer of crinoline, this one being 6 inches deep, and pad stitched and whipped it to the 11 inch layer only. Then I removed that pad stitching. And then, holy cow, and then, I cut the lining and used pad stitching to secure it to the outer layer. This legit took five ever. The pieces were then machine basted permanently, and the lower 11 inches with crinoline bounded the side seams. Look at that pocket piece. See why I went with those? I'll link the pattern below. It's free. The pockets were pinned to the skirt fronts and side fronts. If I had it to do over again, I'd put them at the proper sides of the skirt, and maybe an inch or two higher. Things to keep in mind for next time. I stitched the seam, with a 1 inch twill tape pinned into the pocket to hold it up at the waistband. These pockets are huge, and I didn't want them to get weighed down. And the shape kind of screamed for this treatment. The seams were pressed and clipped near the pockets. The tapes were pinned to the top edge, but not trimmed yet. Then I laid the entire thing flat-ish on a table to whip down the seams. This was the opposite of quick. Here's a cat! After that was finished, I got to work on the waistband. I didn't realize I was supposed to interline it. <laughs> Oops. Now I know for next time.
The usual construction methods were used, but it was attached by the inside band rather than the outside. It was slip stitched to the outside because of the point. Then it was top stitched to match the vest I'll be making later. I got it on my dress form and marked the hem. Wait, I gotta preface this next part with some info. You all must be wondering why I only use cotton and linen. And rayon, but that video hasn't been filmed yet. I have a lot of topical allergies that result in very painful things. So I keep mostly to natural plant-based fibers. Yes, this includes polyester. It is of the devil. Moving on. Here, I'm stitching a 1-inch twill tape to the bottom edge with a long basting stitch as a hem braid. I can't use wool, so there it is. It was then whip-stitched to the lining with very long stitches. Then I got the closures on and removed the pad stitching, and it was done. I guess this is the part you're actually here for, right? On with it, then. I ended up making a lot of work for myself with this one. I can't say it wasn't enjoyable, though. Okay, one unenjoyable thing was losing my thimble and not finding it until it was finished. But that's normal for me. I have a walking skirt now, and it's wearable. Do you see what I mean about the hem shaping looking a bit wonky? If I make this again in the future, I'll be finding another way to add structure. Because crinoline ain't it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also follow me over on Instagram, at GenFair, to see my current projects. Become a member of my Patreon, linked in the description, to see the shirtwaist video coming out later this month. I'll see you soon with another hand-sewing heavy video, the shawl collar vest. Until next time, friends.